All right, guys, we're back at it again. This is number four. Number four uh, from the Sorge Unit. I'm not wearing the same clothes on a different day. It's just the same day for me. It's just a different day for you guys. I didn't want to make a three-hour video. I didn't know that you guys would want to watch them that long. And if you do, you can just follow this in the playlist and check out everything that's in the storage unit all at once. But uh, now we got some of the stuff out of the trailer. I mean, it's still we still got a ton of stuff in there, guys. I think that Star Wars box right there, wall. Um, on the other side of that, and that like quadrant is stuff we went through. But there's a like that's Episode One figures. It says. Mini Piano Terror Drome. I think that had the uh, Star Wars stuff in it. Or Star G.I. Joe stuff. Let me uh, talk straight here. Simpsons. All right, we're going to pull out a couple more of these big boxes and go through some of this stuff. Um, and yeah, it's gonna, this is going to be fun to get all this stuff sorted and organized. All right, so uh, let's... Big old, big old box. It's got a bunch of stuff listed on the side. I don't know if it's what's in it. This is like cheap lightsabers... Two step, two step bottles board, quiz whiz. So let's see if it's all uh, what's actually in the box. So we have this Return of the Jedi sh Virtual Shaken. I guess it's a game that shakes as you play. Amazing. What used to be a uh, fun is now like on our phones, except for your phone. Well, I guess your phone but probably could make a game that vibrated using the uh, feature on your phone. We got the Shaken Pinball here. This is all from the. 90s stuff. That one's three games in one. I guess those cartridges go in this and you play it off of there. Let's like a Game Boy. So yeah, there's not that much in this box. Actually a couple of really big items. This was $29.99 back in the day. Clearance for six bucks. Probably sells for around six bucks now. A lot of this stuff didn't appreciate in value. And we have these lightsabers. I'm assuming this box is referring to these when it says cheap lightsabers. Slide that over. And there's a lot of them. Holy moly. I'm going to have cheap lightsabers for days, guys. There's like six or seven of them in there. Alright, here's another one. This one feels like it's got a little more heft to it. It's one of the ones you throw it, it would, uh, you know, you flick it and the top comes out. All right, all right, all right. What is this? Real movie sound, Millennium Falcon. I guess it's a memory game, maybe like Simon type thing. Tire Electronics. Is that company even still around? They used to make all those games. All right, um, let's see what else do we have in here. We got a Boba Fett keychain. And, ooh, Avon. I feel like this must have come from the 80s Toy House because there's so much Avon stuff there. But there was no Avon Star Wars. But this is an Avor, um, Avon Star Wars Jedi Knights metal card set. So, it's like playing cards or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, they're not even, they're not trading cards. They're, um, they're not playing cards. Like a deck of cards. They're like little tin cards, I guess. I wonder if there's a whole set if it was just that many, does it say? Mm. Interesting. They merchandise the heck out of Star Wars, guys. Both in the 90s and in the 80s, I mean, and now. I mean, there's Star Wars everything. So the rest of the stuff that's in here is giant figures. So let's take a look. Alright, so what's left in here are these giant, like, 12-inch figures. You got a uh, Han on the Tauntaun. That's actually pretty neat looking. Say what you will about some of this new stuff, but it does look pretty cool. Two of those. This box is a little, a little damaged, but that one's actually in nice shape. We have a lightsaber keychain. We have Princess Leia as Jabba's prisoner. A salacious criminal cardboard cutout, and the whole scene pops up like a pop-up book. That's pretty cool. A little spicy uh, nowadays. Ooh, what's this? So we got Rose Out Rose Art Droid Factory. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. I don't know if Rose Art's still around. And then we have the lighting draw up desk or light up drawing desk. That's pretty cool. We got another one of the 
action collection here. We got a uh, wedge and bigs. Looks like the cardboard kind of fell down, but that should push back up pretty easily. Not a big deal. Unless you're wedge and you're in there and the thing's falling on your noggin. A snow trooper. You know, I, I, I wonder if these would have more value if everyone didn't save them in the box because there are just so many of these things. Um, and everybody saved them. You know, you go to any toy shop and there's tons of these things. I mean, not every single one, but most of them are about, they're probably actually a little less than they would have cost brand new, so it has the reverse effect because everyone saved them. Then we have the uh, Luke, Princess Leia, and Han Solo. That's that, that giant box, so let me get another one out. All right, guys, this next box is heavy. So if I sound out of the breath, it's because I just carried a box that weighs like 3,000 pounds. All right. Oh, that's what two more of these. I thought we only had one more. Let's save those. Those are the other two cases. Got a receipt. Um, Toys R Us, Star Wars 3-pack for $14.99. And that was $19.97. If that was um, these guys. The purchase of the droids. So there's a lot of these in this box. Really heavy. I see the binder, so it's probably just uh, the cards or something that are making it so heavy. And then Bantam Double Dell Audio Publishing Three Book Cycle. I guess that's an audiobook. Audiobook set here. Let's see. It's interesting looking from the bottom anyway. Oh, that's cool. A little Millennial Falcon on it. I guess it's booking on tape. Again, that's something I have no idea where they would even be valued at. I mean, it was, shoot, 60 bucks when it was brand new, but I can't imagine it's that much now. All right, now we have the Death Star Escape. That's pretty neat. Some of these are cool. Again, they don't have the same value as the vintage, but they're still they're still neat. Fragile Star Wars characters. Not characters, characters. So let's see what these are. I like, like porcelain figures. Oh, that's kind of neat. Hold on. Let me, uh... That's cool. They're like little glass or porcelain figures. I wonder who made those. I'm going to have to do some research on that. There's nothing on it that has a... There's no maker's mark. It doesn't look like it's hand-painted by uh, an amateur. It looks like it's professionally made. There's a bunch of them in here. Let's see what the rest of them look like. Fragile. Or is it just these two and the rest are just... <laughs> look at that guy. That is cool. I like that. It looks like his thumb came off, but uh, other than missing a thumb, he's pretty neat. Uh, that's all that's in here. We just used the newspaper to keep it up. Padded. I was hoping there would be a bunch of different figures, but just the two. Just the two. Still pretty cool. Guys, there's a bunch of everything randomness in here. I mean, I'm assuming these are gonna be more vintage. Well, I know one of them. Probably both of them. I probably looked in both of them. I just opened the top. Then you got Jabba the Hutt's dancers. I got the jazz hands going on. That's a cool set. Why is this so heavy? I don't see anything in here that makes it heavy. You got the Star Wars collector set, TIE Fighter. Those just love the uh tissue paper. Oh, wait till these. It's like a Mead Star Wars, just in time for school. I thought maybe these were what, I thought maybe these were what was causing all the weight. Maybe I thought they were trading cards, but it looks like they're just binders. Someone loved Darth Vader. Those are pretty cool. This might be. This is, that's that's pretty heavy. I don't know what's in there. Go through that in a minute here. Okay, so there's like some statues, I guess, in here. This has got some weight to it, too. Um, 
assuming it's just a stature that it's probably poor, so I'm not gonna pull it out of there right now or drop it and be upset. Alright, so this is a Darth Vader statue. Oh man, this thing must be huge. So it's like a multi-piece statue. It must have like a stone base or something. It's heavier than that looks. Yeah, so that's one of those nice statues that all gets interlocked and hooked together. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to pull the base out because it looks like it's pretty well packed and I want to keep it that way. But that gives you an idea. Hopefully the lightsaber's in there because it looks like the lightsaber would go uh, slide into that. But I mean, that's not as heavy. That wasn't what was causing all the weight. That was causing some of the weight, obviously. But that was not all the weight. That'll look cool displayed in the shop, huh? Got a blaster. That's not what was causing it to be heavy though. That's really light. No, there's still some, there's still some pepper in here, guys. We got old Star Wars puzzle again, Rose Art. We got a little Star Wars collector series from applause. You know I'm never gonna get this stuff back in here the way it came out. Another Monopoly. I remember having that. I had this when I was a kid. Well, I guess a teenager. The power of the Force the TIE Fighter. Like I said, this is a mix of new and old, and I mean, there's just all kinds. I don't want to get more than that. I want to find out why this is so dang heavy. You have the power of the Force lightsaber there. Vader's lightsaber. And Luke's lightsaber. Here, I'll show you. This is why I don't understand why this box is so heavy. But these things aren't super heavy. You know, it's just a bunch more of these figures. It's got a little bit of heft to them, I guess. But still, I mean, it's, that still weighs about 100 pounds, well, 50 pounds, I don't know. So we got Greedo, Admiral Ackbar. I'm not gonna pull all those out. I'll just kind of give you a sneak peek here. We got Leia, Stormtrooper. Cause if I take all this out, I'm not getting it back in. That I can assure you. Got some limited edition figures there. And then we got a couple speeder bikes and a swoop. Actually, I think that swoop one's got a little more value to it from the Revenge of the Earth Shadow of the Empire line. So I'm going to get that back in there and I'm going to go through this stuff here. All right, here's a moment we've been waiting for. Now, maybe this is why I didn't open up both of them because uh, these are the single stack ones. But this is what I opened up and saw in here. So we do have the blasters for a lot of these. I know we have a bunch of the weapons for these guys. His case is in there. Let's look underneath. And no weapons under there. So this is what I first saw. I was like, okay, it's a bunch of kind of, you know, common figures, nothing big. That's why I was so shocked to find that blue snag. And then... Bunch of stormtroopers, snow troopers, um, cloud car pilots, someone was army building. Let's take a peek under here. I doubt there's any weapons underneath here, guys, just because there were so many in those uh, that, that box. But I'll be mixing or mixing and matching. I'll be matching all that stuff up this evening. Yeah, nothing in there. These cases are pretty neat. These were like, I think Sears made these. Um, no, it looks like it's with the price tag on there. Maybe they're just multiple stores. Kind of knockoff cases. It's uh, Kmart. That one says Kmart on it. So, all right, that box is done. I'm gonna get one more box out. We'll go through it. I think that big one that said Terror Drill. Let's see if it's actually what's in there. All right, guys. This is probably the last one we go through today because, well, I'm getting tired. This is not the first box I've moved. <laughs> so this is Mini Piano, GI Joe Terror Drill, and Assorted Crap. I love boxes that say Assorted Crap because you never know what you're gonna find. I'm gonna move this down here so I'll see what so we got the Gremlins doll here. What is this from? This looks newer. Um, 2000, I guess. Jeez. Did they have like a something with Gremlins in the 2000s? I know they didn't re-release it. 
it or anything. Maybe they had like a mastered copy. I have no idea. The Gremlins 2 definitely did not come out in 2000. So here is the mini piano. I don't know if this goes to something or if this is just a mini piano. But it is in a box of random crap, according to the box. Um, um, yeah, I don't see anything on the bottom that would have legs. It's kind of silly. Looks like there's hinges, like maybe there's a door or something. Missed. That'll put it down. Look at it. Uh, maybe this is the top of it. No? What in the heck is that? Oh, the calendar. All right, so if anyone wants a 2001 Linda McCartney floral calendar, well, I got you covered. It's, uh, it's got some beautiful pictures of flowers. I'll give it that. I don't know. What, what year would this be used again? How many years is it until the calendar is actually the same as the... Uh, like, when does it, like, rotate or whatever? I know I've asked that question before and I just don't remember. Someone knew. So when will the 2006 calendar be ready to go? Ugh, gross. That's disgusting. They're all melted and stuff. That's just gonna go in the garbage. Blech. Well, that was, that was pretty gross. We'll find old food sometimes. Blech. That was disgusting. What is that, Chubbles? I don't remember them. Mm, chubble. Got a chubble. Trouble, troubles. Got some cabbage patch dolls. Looks like that one got a haircut. Got another one here. She's covered in South Park stickers. Um, I don't know. Most of those cabbage patch dolls don't have a ton of value to them, especially if they're beat up like that. Oh, you know what that was? That was a uh, South Park Rubik's Cube, which is no longer any good. Disintegrated the stickers or made them come off. What's this thing do? Alright, it's a, it's a friction hop. I guess you, when you wind this up, I bet when it pushes that, it flips it back and forth because it, uh, when that pushes, it basically rolls. Yeah, correct. So we have uh, Osborne's Talking Bobber. This is a bunch of random crap. Um, S2 Amigo. This is a guy. Gizmo box. I guess that's the lid for it. I think it's supposed to look like the box that uh, and Gizmo was brought home in. It was probably in there. Galactic body wash. That's... Probably smelling pretty good. Probably smelling pretty good with some galactic body wash. We got Ben and Jerry's Festivus ice cream. Good thing that's in good. Here, I'll show you what I'm looking at here, guys. I'm trying to get this terror drum out, but I'm probably just not going to get it out. But um, there's some random stuff tucked underneath it. You got a uh, Homer, something wrapped in paper here. I don't know what it is. I can't really get to it with this in here, and I don't want to pull this out right now, so. And then we have another Ozzy Bobber. Is the fire bat in there? Yes, it is. We've got the fire bat inside. We've got the chairs. And I know there's another box that has more pieces and the actual box for this thing inside the trailer, because when it was one of the ones I opened up, that is a huge toy. And it was stuffed with this crap. And I'm not calling it crap. Hold on. So yeah, I wasn't lying. He called it a sort of crap. So a bunch of randomness. I mean, the gremlins are pretty cool. Obviously, the terror drum's cool. I mean, this other stuff's kind of like, eh. But uh, let's get the, uh, we'll get one more box out. All right, here. so here is the last box we're going to go through in this video. Um, G.I. Joe figs. So let's see uh, what we got. Oh, got the terror drum box. It is loaded with vehicles. Oh, there's a bunch of figures in here. We're gonna find. Oh yeah, there I see some in there right there. So I'm gonna pull some of that stuff out and see what we got. 
Exciting. See, just when you thought it was all going to be Power of the Force, disgusting old candy and Ben and Jerry's containers, we find something cool. Alright, what we got on this bad boy? Clearly he was more of a Star Wars fan than a G.I. Joe fan, but... Alright, so here's... Okay, these are Terradrome parts. Cool. Looks like a lot of the Terradrome parts. So I might need to go put this in that Terradrome box so this stuff stays together. Yeah, there's a lot of that in there. And we have the, uh, Road Toad. Looks like it's been opened. Where was that from? Bradley's for $3.49. The trick is always trying to open things without ripping the cardboard. This is so brittle. Especially after being in a storage unit for however many decades. So yeah, it looks like it's in there. It doesn't look like it's been used. Broken figures in here. Looks like their guts are all hanging out. Get Grunt, uh, forget his name. I'm horrible with uh, most of these guys' names. You got Barbecue there. We have a bunch of other figures in here. Let's take a gander at what we got. Ooh. Defiant. Is there a Defiant in here? That'd be cool. I don't know. We'll find out. Got a bunch of little uh, figures here. That look, ooh, we got some uh, straight arms, it looks like. You hear someone say straight arms, this is what they're talking about. <clears throat> the newer figures swivel at like the arm there, but the first run, they did not. They just went up and down like that. So his band, I was going to say, his band feels really, really loose. And yeah, see, that's the problem with these things. You store them, even, you know, the nicest conditions, they still just kind of crumble and fall apart. So to try to keep most of that together, I'll just go spin that and give you guys, I think that's a Lennard figure. But yeah, straight arm, straight arm, straight arm. Wow, those are all straight arms, I think. Um, yeah. I just don't want to take them out of here and drop it, so I'm going to... We're chasing pieces around, but uh, we're going to go and see what else is in here. Alright. Hydro sled. These look like they got wet at some point, or maybe they're just somewhere where it's really humid. We got the Sky Storm X Wing Chopper. Yeah, that definitely had some, some moisture on it. Box still exists, though. So, Good, right? Battle Force 2000, that's newer. We got the uh, bridge layer tossing cross, and it's in there. And the Cobra Maggot. That's a neat, that's a neat vehicle too. I'm not going to pull everything out of this um, Terradrome box because it looks like it's just a couple big pieces in there. Well, we have the uh, armor personnel carrier and there are no figures in it. We have Snowcat. We have um, not the General. I forget what that one. What's that one called? That's the one that shoots the ICBM. And then it looks like there's the giant command center underneath there. I don't see the Defiant in there, but hopefully it's complete with everything. It looked like we had most of the pieces. Um, we're going to make sure all this stuff's complete, get it all priced out, um, ready to go on the shelves, uh, probably fix some, some G.I. Joe O-rings. But I'm going to go inside, have some dinner, spend some time with the family. Um, but thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the videos. It really helps the channel. And uh, we'll go from there. I know what I'm doing tonight. Sorting weapons and... He's going to my desk. I don't know where you get such a small thing of Fruit of the Looms, but it's wonderful. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time.